Hello and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create the shattered glass text effect. So first thing I'd like you to do is create a new file and to fill the background with black. I'd then I'd like you to select your type tool and insert your text. In my case I'm using um, this text here. So um, just setting it up so the text is nice and large and in the center. Once that's done, we're going to be creating uh, selections using the polygonal tool. And we're going to go around and select pieces of our text that we're going to um, shatter outwards. So we're going to make multiple selections. And in order to do that, you create your first selection. And then if you hold down the shift key, click once, let go of shift and continue making your selection. You'll see the small circle appear next to the cursor there when it's completing the selection. Remember to hold down shift, let go of shift, click and join up your selection. Okay, so working your way all the way around, uh, trying to be fairly random in the, your selection, but going for shapes like this that will work, look good when they shatter outwards. I have a selection uh, already prepared, so I'm going to go to load selection and shatter. Just bring up my selection that I made earlier. Uh, if you want to do something similar, once you've made your selection, simply go to select and save selection. It's a nice uh, simple technique. Now we're going to move on to rasterize this layer now. So holding down control and clicking on the layer, we're going to rasterize the type. Um, once that's rasterized, we can work with, the, work with the, uh, the text as pixels. So we're going to do some transformation. So we go to edit and transform and scale. I'm going to hold down uh, alt and shift to constrain the proportions as I move it outwards. And then we're going to let go of alt and shift now and also work manually. In different directions to try and get the desired effect. So I'm shattering the text outwards. So it's going to take a little bit of playing around to get into the position that you like. Uh, we're going to deselect now. So select and deselect. You can then use your magic wand tool to select areas uh, individually. So you can select small sections uh, and you can move them outwards. So you can use your move tool and uh, reposition. Um, so you can kind of work your way around and uh, make uh, minor adjustments. Um, but I'm going to leave my text uh, as it is and move on to the next step. But you can spend plenty of time working with this to get the, the desired effect. Um, so after you've um, worked on that one, uh, we're going to add some texture layers in. So you're going to need a series of texture layers ready and prepared. Uh, so if you use a uh, scratch metal texture, so move tool selected, just click, drag and drop into the uh, image here ensuring that it's uh, on top. We're then going to set the blend modes to multiply and that's going to apply the, the scratch texture to our text uh, only. We're then going to insert um, one of two smash glass textures. So we're going to bring this one uh, into, our, uh, into our text. It's going to require a little bit of resizing this one. So I'm going to transform and bring that to position. Okay, so that looks good. Um, then we're going to change the blend mode to screen. Okay, so that's going to be blending quite nicely. Uh, if you wish, you can continue to sort of tweak with transformations. So you can rotate uh, and reposition your glass. Uh, you can resize. You can even create multiple copies of this layer by dragging down to duplicate here and add more glass uh, if, that, if that suits. And they're going to bring across um, another texture. So you have to experiment with what kind of uh, glass textures you're using and see which ones work best for you. So again, changing blend mode to screen. Um, this time I'm going to be dropping the opacity down considerably because I want there to be just a simple texture in the background. And final effects I'm going to apply to the actual text layer here. So I'm going to duplicate that text layer. So I have two versions. And I'm going to add a zoom effect. So filter and blur and radial blur. I'm going to use a zoom blur. I'm going to increase it so it's quite strong. Uh, you can use best quality for this uh, for your version, but I'm going to use good just for speed. Uh, so we're going to apply the blurring effects to the, uh, the text layer here. Uh, so you can continue to, to work with this maybe by uh, transforming again and resizing. So using scale is a nice way to work just to, to pull apart that, that zoom effect a little bit. But again, it's, um, it's up to you to experiment with this. Finishing touches, you could apply uh, final level adjustments on top so you can work with uh, work with the levels to again 
uh, obtain exactly the, the effects you desire. So you can kind of tweak, um, tweak the end results. There you go. Well, good luck with your own uh, experiments, and I hope you enjoyed.